Deon Rapper. A new witness testifies he's fronting as the owner of a condo for Vice President B9. Photos show China's massive reclamation in the West Philippine Sea. And the Japanese government is running out of time to free ISIS hostages. Hello, I'm Maria Ressa. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. It's back to the Senate for the accusers of Vice President Jeje Marbinai. This time, the probe will include the Vice President's ties with the Pag-ibig Fund and the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. Bea Kupin files this video blog. After a two-month break, the Senate resumes its probe into allegations that Vice President Jejo Marbinay dipped into the city coffers of Makati, where he was mayor for over two decades. But in 2015, the Senate goes beyond the borders of Makati and into groups and organizations associated with Binay, the Pag-ibig Fund, and the Boy Scouts of the Philippines. Binay, chairman of the Pag-ibig Fund, supposedly used his position to bag contracts for favorite companies, including Omni Security, which got billions from Makati City contracts in the past. But Pag-ibig President and CEO Darlene Berberabe denies the accusations. Your Honors, I say that this is most unfair because Pag-ibig has been known, especially in the last four years, for its excellent performance and integrity. We have been very vocal in our collective stand against corruption. Bina is also accused of shortchanging the Boy Scouts of the Philippines in a land deal with developer Alpha Land. Bine has been the national president of the BSP for over two decades. Chief whistleblower and former Boy Scouts Vice President Ernesto Mercado says Bine used his kickbacks to fuel his 2010 campaign. Isinangla po yung lupa ng Boy Scout sa Development Bank of the Philippines. Kaya po, sabi ko dyan, dito na nagsimula ang pagluluto nila BP Bine at ng Alpalan sa Boy Scout of the Philippines sa sarili pong mantika ng Boy Scout. The Binay camp, as is always the case, denies the fresh allegations against the Vice President and calls on whistleblowers to show real proof. But this is not just about proof anymore. It is also a perception game. The question is, will Vice President Jejo Marbinay win this game as easily as he wins elections? Beko Pin Rappler, Manila. Rappler reports talk of Binay owning condominiums in Makati City have been around for a time, but... For the first time ever, a witness has come forward. Engineer Ariel Olivar tells the panel that Vice President Jaja Barbinay is the real owner of a condominium unit at the Peak Tower in Makati City. Toto po yon. Ako po ang nakapangalan dito sa condominium unit na ito, pero hindi po ako nagmimiare. Ginamit lang po ang pangalan ko. Ang ating pong Vice President ang talaga nagmimiare po nito. The Philippine aviation industry gets an upgrade worth 160 million pesos or 3.6 million dollars. The Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines improves the air traffic system which can now control arriving and departing air traffic within a range of 250 nautical miles. Under the old system, flights during the rainy season were constantly canceled or diverted. The upgrade is part of a 13 billion peso project meant to avoid flight delays, diversions and cancellations. Divers in Indonesia evacuate more bodies from the crashed Air Asia jet. Divers find five bodies still belted into their seats Thursday. Indonesian officials say the bodies spilled out of the fuselage 50 to 100 meters or 160 to 330 feet away. Only 53 bodies have been recovered so far. The rest are believed to be still trapped inside the fuselage. Recent photos of China's reclamation in Kagitingan or Fiery Cross Reef show the extent of improvements compared to the first published photo last November. Philippine officials describe the changes in their words as massive. Taken on December 12, 2014, the photos show dredgers, cargo vessels, and fishing boats. The Foreign Affairs Department says the reclamation is, quote, a clear violation of the 2002 ASEAN-China Declaration on the Conduct of Parties in the South China Sea. Military Chief General Gregorio Katapang Jr. says the reclaimed area could be used for, in his words, purposes other than for peaceful use. 
The Japanese government says it's working to secure the release of two kidnapped journalists. ISIS released a video Tuesday showing a militant looming over journalist Kenji Goto and Haruna Yukawa, apparently in a desert in Syria or Iraq. Japanese officials say they have not spoken to the Islamic State group or their representatives, but they believe the deadline for the $200 million ransom will end Friday. For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story directly in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Every story on Rappler has a mood meter as part of our user engagement panel. You can see that it, there are eight emotions to choose from. On the mi middle of the front page, the story that's gotten the most number of votes in the last 24 hours is the photos that show China's massive reclamation in the West Philippine Sea. Interesting, you have 11% angry, but 87% happy. Happy it was discovered, happy because they're there. <laughs> that we're not sure of today. Most people are happy. That is the wrap for today, Thursday, January 22. Visit Rapper.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, Tech Rap and Talk Thursday. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Maria Ressa. As we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.